Chapter Summary, Lesson 2, Society and Culture in Ancient China. Between 500 BC and 200 BC, three major philosophies developed in China, Confucianism, Taoism, and Legalism. Confucius urged people to follow the ways of their ancestors. He believed people should place the needs of others above their own needs. Laozi introduced Taoism. Taoism instructs people to free themselves from worldly desires and live simply. One aim of Taoism is for people to live in harmony with nature. Legalism stressed the importance of laws. Aristocrats supported legalism because it emphasized force and did not require rulers to consider the needs or wishes of their people. Early Chinese society was made up of four social classes, aristocrats, farmers, artisans, and merchants. Chinese aristocrats were wealthy. They lived comfortably and owned large plots of land. Most Chinese people were farmers who rented fields from aristocrats. Farmers had to pay taxes and work one month a year on government projects. In wartime, they were forced to serve as soldiers. Chinese families practiced filial piety. This means that children obeyed and respected their parents and took care of them when they got old. The work done by Chinese men, farming, fighting wars, and running the government, was considered more important than the work done by women. Women's major responsibility was raising children and seeing to their education. Women also managed household affairs and family finances.